Hi guys! Today we're going to do a get ready with me. I'm getting ready to go to a playground dedication for one of my cousins who passed away. Um, she left some money to have a playground built for children because she loved them. Um, should be a sad but also a very sweet memorial that the kids are benefiting um, with a wonderful playground. So let's get ready. I'm going to do my base. Nothing fancy because I want to just focus on our eye look today and and finishing your face because I'm going to use the products that I just recently got in my um, Ofra um, secret box. Um, I got some great products. I'll, I'll show them to you again. But um, so give me a minute. Let me get the base, the eyebrows, and we'll get started. Hi guys, we're back. Our base. Sorry, my hair looks crazy. Our base is done. Um, I used um, Fenty primer and foundation. I used that in another video um, if you want to reference and I'll put it down in the description box. I set with some um, Reserve Your Cabana under the eye and the highlighted areas and the rest of my face in the Ciate London um, coconut powder and did a little bronzing with the city bronzer and the buddy butter bronzer around the hairline the cheeks the jawline under here a little bit and i did a little bit of contouring on my nose today just to give that a whiz i don't always do that but i'd like to get better at it and the brows are done with the elf um micro brow pencil and the nyx pomade and the eyelids are primed with the nyx lip primer I'm going to use the same palette that I used the other day in one of my previous videos, the um, Canyon by Alter Ego, which is a dupe for the Natasha Denona Bronze Palette. But I don't want to just use palettes once and never go back. I want to use this again and do a different look. Today I'm going to do a more dramatic look where it's darker on the inside and outside and then do like a spotlight or some people call it a, hot, a halo eye, but I think that's actually a little different. Spotlight is just where it's light right in the middle. Or we could do an all-over glittery look. What you think? Let's be dramatic. Let's give it a shot. Because my other products are a little darker, so I think a darker eye will look good. Alright, we are going to start with our typical fluffy crease brush. This is the Laura Lee Los Angeles brush L18. She has a little brush set that comes with a few eye brushes, cheek and face brushes, and it's really not that expensive and they're super great brushes. I love this pale pink color. All right, we are gonna start with just a transition color. We're gonna start with this color right here and that is Rattlesnake, which is the transition color I used the other day. Shocker. A transition color you want to be kind of medium to light it's just gonna be kind of underneath what you're doing so that it blends in and I'm just putting this in the crease and upward just a little tell me what you guys think leave me a comment do you like when people show you one eye come back and the other eyes done or do you like to watch them do both eyes I kind of like to watch both eyes because I gotta do both eyes so I want to see what they're doing and seeing it on the second eye is like getting a free repeat if I'm trying to copy what they're doing in the crease little circular windshield wiper nice and blended this is the deepest brown possible like almost black I'm not trying to be that dramatic um, so I think I'm gonna go in with this color right here. This is a deeper shade too, but it's shimmery, but I'm gonna use this one here um, It's called russet and This is pretty pigmented, so I'm just gonna get a little bit of that on my brush and Just kind of stamp it on the outer corner and see how that looks first before you go swatching it everywhere It's not too bad. So I'm gonna rub it in Rub it right in the crease, kind of create that little V. Do the other side. I want it to be dark because I want the middle to really pop. So I'm going to build this color up a little bit. 
to be honest with you I don't wear a lot of darker looks especially on the inner corner of my eye I feel like my eyes are kind of small and very close set so I always try to make this lighter so they look a little further apart and not like close and beady maybe I'm making that up in my head but that's what I'm thinking but today we're gonna we're gonna do it because I see lots of other people do it and they look just fine I follow um, Bailey Sarian. She does the murder mystery and makeup. Um, she's great, but she always says it's just makeup. It washes off. So true. Go for it. You hate it? Wash it off. All right, now let's do that inner corner. This is where it gets scary. want to keep it right on the inner corner not trying to get it into like my um where you would highlight I want it right on the inner lid corner and I'm keeping it like right with the crease of the lid Don't worry if you get a little too close to the um, center, like there's not a whole lot of empty in my center, um, but what we can do, I'll show you, um, we'll open that up. First I'm going to take my, um, like a little fluffier, cleaner brush, and I'm going to blend this in. Get that outer V blended up into the crease a little. I'm using a clean brush because I'm not trying to add product. I'm just trying to blend the product that's already there. All right, that looks pretty good. It's dark. We'll clean this up a little bit when we're done. Easy to do. All right, now because I didn't leave a whole lot of empty space between in the center what you can do take um, some concealer this is Tarte Shape Tape this is what I use to conceal my eyes today I'm gonna put a dab on the center of my eye then I'm going to take a um, little flat this is a really skinny flat brush just to blend that out but I'm try it's fine and flat because I'm, I'm trying to keep precise here precision I'm gonna blend that I went a little high with the concealer or maybe it did that when I blinked I'm not sure but we're not panicking we are not panicking girls and guys do better over here it out too much but I just want to create some light space all right so there we go we've created a good bit of light space there now I want to use my finger to do the inner highlight and these are our colors we can either go super gold with it or this is like really bronzy but it's a little dark I don't think that's gonna pop this is like a really I would say molten gold. This is a very yellow gold. This is more like champagne. I want to use the brightest one. So let's see on camera. What looks the brightest? This one, I think. Let's do that one. It is called Cliff. Actually, I'm going to dip a little Cliff and a little Cougar. I'm just going to rub my finger in both of them. And tap, tap, tap. I'm just going to tap right in the center. I can blend the edges out with the brush because I don't want this to go all the way corner to corner either. I'm kind of like
liking this cliff better than the cougar, so I'm kind of building that up on top. Alright. This is what we're looking like. Now I'm going to take the same brush that I used for the concealer. A little flat skinny brush. I'm going to dip that in the cliff. And I'm just going to pack it on top because I just really want this to pop. And I'm going to blend the edges. The finger really applies it the best. You can wet your brush and do this, and that also works. Say if you have long fingernails and you're not very good at doing that. All right, now I'm gonna go back to my first brush that I used in the deeper color, and because that blended out a little bit, I'm gonna deepen that up just a little, just to keep, I want our contrast to be big here. Just kind of lightly tapping some in there, not getting too crazy. Blending it in with the glittery shade. marvelous. I'm going to go back and just tap a little more. You just can't get enough shimmer, you know? You can't. I'm really liking this side better than this side. I don't know why. They're pretty much similar. Alright, now I'm going to take this same skinny brush and I'm going to dip it in. I don't want under my eye to be super deep. So I'm, instead of using my deepest shade, I'm going to go just a little lighter right here, and that's the color Mule. Actually, I'm going to use a different brush because I'm going to save that for my shimmer. I'm just going to take a different, um, another flat shader brush. The thinner, the better. This one's not super thin. But I'm going to do it under my eye. all the way across and then I'm going to pull up this corner here just to create that V and I'm going to blend that out don't panic this brush could have been a little thinner but that's okay I've mentioned before I hate these little fine lines under my eye so sometimes a little color under there kind of covers them up a little bit I'm blending this out I know I look crazy now I'm going to take the one, that's not the one, this is the L17 from the Laura Lee Los Angeles collection, the super flat one I use for the shimmer, and I'm going to dip in that same shimmer, the cliff, that I really liked, and I'm going to put it in the center of my under eye. I probably could have skipped this space. Actually, I'm going to use just a dab of concealer because I want the shimmer to pop on the under eye too. Just a dab. And I'm going to take another little brush and go. Just lighten that little center area that I made a little dark. And I just blend it in a little, and then I'm going to take my e.l.f. sponge that I used to apply and just pat that in. Because I want it to blend in with my under eye. Okay, let's go back to our super thin brush and the cliff, the really gold shimmer. I'll put that under the eye. Not showing up too good with the brush. No, I'm not going to use my finger. That's a crazy thought. I'm going to take some of my setting spray, which today I have the e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set. And just spray a little on there so it's damp. Then I'm going to dip it in the cliff. It's not showing up so great on the under eye. Just, 
doing better. It did much better with the wet brush. And now I think I'm done with this. So I'm going to dip a little in that mule, the darker, and kind of blend that in. Because I wanted a little finer brush anyway. Guys, I am loving this palette. I don't have the original Natasha Denona to tell you if it's as good, but I have watched some videos and people said it was pretty good. Big fluffy brush. Let's do some blending. Not too much because I want to keep my color up here. I'm not blending too much the gold part under my eye either because it was hard for me to get that there. Up in my corner. I do want that to blend in nice. Make sure that's blending across. Okay. I'm going to take my e.l.f. sponge and just do a little clean up. funny in the camera. I don't want too much of the dark on my inner corner because I'm going to do a little highlight there. Let's do some Hey guys. Don't forget to turn your phone off when you film a video. I'm obsessed with this new Wet n Wild Breakup Proof 16 Hour Ultra Black. No, it's not Ultra Black, so you may have to go over it one more time, but man, it is a super fine tip. Stays in place. No bleeding, no fraying. Love it. Just going to put a thin line. I want my eye look to really pop so I don't want a super like thick eyeliner like a big wing or anything because I feel like you won't even notice the halo I have kind of um, hooded lids so you don't see a ton of it except for like when I'm moving and talking you see it um, but I want you to see it I don't want you to be like winged and can barely even see my eyeshadow I have such a hard time on the left eye inner corner. I always get kind of thick on this side. Because it's my opposite. But I tell you what, I've never done better this with this liner right here. Got a little fuzzy. Go a little thick, go a little thick. If you find that you just think you are horrible at this liquid eyeliner, just tell yourself you're gonna try it. One day a week. Oh, we're getting too thick over here. See, look, look, look. I do it too. Cousins, sisters, not sure. Um, 
tell yourself if you don't want to do it before you go to work or where you go when you get home from work put on some winged eyeliner or just liquid eyeliner practice if it looks like crap you're gonna wash it off take a shower soon anyway don't worry about it all right I'm throwing stuff on the floor I'm gonna curl my eyelashes because my eyelashes are pretty short they're not the shortest you ever saw but they're short and they kind of stick straight out they have no curl to them whatsoever It's really better when you look in a mirror and do it because you can see if you caught them all. All right, now that rubbing my eyeliner kind of made it a little eyeshadowy, so I'm just gonna touch it up, I'm not making it bigger, just darker. It is also um, matte. It's not shiny when it dries, so a lot of people like that too. Waterline. I'm going to do the same thing I did the other day. This is ColourPop gel, Cream Gel Eyeliner in Get Paid. See how bronzy that is? I'm going to put that in my waterline because, hey, we're bronzed up. I do not like black in my waterline. Once again, it makes my eyes look too dark, too small. And y'all don't know how old I am. But I'm too old for black waterline eyeliner. You ever see people like, maybe this is rude to say, but they're like in their 50s and they're still doing the black waterline. And you just, it, it just is not flattering. I don't know. Forgive me for saying that. If you love it, you do it. It's makeup. Do you. So now I'm going to do a little mascara. I'm going to use the Maybelline Sky High Pretty Pretty Pink packaging. Theirs is Blackest Black. I always try to get the blackest one. Like, who wants lightly black mascara? I don't. I don't know. Maybe there are people. Here's another question. Do you like it? when I just say hey I'll be right back with a liner and eyelashes and they're just done maybe if you see all my videos you don't need to see it all the time maybe I'll do it that way because it is a little repetitive I mean we're doing the same thing but I haven't used this mascara a lot so I think it's good to see I like it has the little spiky wand I like it because it it really separates which my main concern is separation because my eyelashes are short I want them separated so you can really see them and then I want to lengthen them and you can really reach into the inner corner and then I'll just do a couple coats to try to volumize them Volumize, aka clumpy. That's what I hear when people say volumize. Um, make sure you get the outer edges. I like those to wisp out. Um, some people say, you know, ma when mascaras say they do everything, like it's impossible. Usually they can lengthen, they can separate. But they can't lengthen, separate, and volumize. Like, it's not a thing. So some people will do the lengthen, separate, and then do a layer of a volumizing mascara. Once you've got them long and separated, then you just want to put a heavy coat on them. Like, this is a really runny type of mascara. Um, you know when you've used some, you pull it out, and it's like gel. It's real thick. I don't really love that kind. But some do. I'm going to do one more coat. You know, you can't go too far with this and head into Clump Town. I really like this on the bottom lashes too. Oh, I just hit my face. Great trick I've learned. I don't remember who I heard it from. Somebody on YouTube. One of a million folks. 
but if you get mascara on you do not touch it while it is wet if it's on your eyelid or under your eye let it dry and then you're gonna take like a clean spoolie like that comes in a pack of brushes not one that's like covered in stuff all right I'm gonna do the bottom This really lengthens my bottom eyelashes. I try not to put too much on the bottom eyelashes because, well, this is a dark eye look. We can kind of see we're a little more dramatic, but day to day, I don't like it to be so dark under there. But I've got, um, you know, that dark eyeshadow under my eye, lower eyelid, so. Uh oh, clumpy, clumpy. Wiggle it out to try to get those little points back. Oh, look what I did. Oh, just so I could show y'all what to do. It was meant to be. Gonna let that dry. We'll be back to it. Now, Getting into some more of our new products that we got from Ofra. One was a beautiful blush in um, format, baked blush bronzer. I don't think it's my type of bronzer, but I do think it's a beautiful blush. Let's see. It really matches our palette really nicely. Whoa, pigment. Luckily, I like blush. This is crazy. Don't panic. I'm just tapping that off. I'm gonna swirl that on the top of my hand to get that off of there. And then I'm gonna take a clean, like fluffy brush. And I'm gonna buff this in and kind of buff some of that off. I just tapped it on my skin so it buffs pretty good. If you smear it in, you might have a harder time getting it off. Do just a swipe of blush in the middle of the face. Mm, that is so pretty. Loving it. Love, love, love. So beautiful. Let's see. Oh, I was going to use this bronzy shade on my eye. Oops. And I forgot. Do we want. Let's see, this is the light, the white, and here's the champagne color. Which highlighter do you think we should use? Champagne to stay bronzy? Yeah, white's too white. Let's be bronzy. I'm gonna take a domed brush to highlight and I'm gonna dip it in the champagne. I'm not gonna go crazy because I'm gonna guess this is super highlighted too. Oh, that's so pretty. I like that soft champagne-y glow. I hope I'm not late. No idea what time it is. Go down the center of the bridge of my nose, skip, and then I do the tip. My mom watched one of my videos and saw this and she hated it. She's like, why are you making the tip of your nose glow? It's the new cool thing. I'm gonna have to do her makeup on here once and give her a glowy nose. Cupid smile. Chin. Oh, this is so pretty. I just love it. Now, while I have this out, I'm gonna take just a, this is actually a, how to get this to focus. It's so hard to get this to focus on brushes. This is a skinny domed brush, and I'm gonna dip in the same champagne highlighter. I thought that had a mirror for a second. And I'm gonna do my inner corner. Both sides, of 
course. And then I'm also gonna do right under the arch of my all right guys battery dad we are back we are running out of time all right i'm gonna finish i did the inner corner highlights and then do just under the arch of the brow bone now i'm gonna take my spoolie so here's the spoolie I'll get close where you can see. See my mascara? Gone. And it doesn't even really take your makeup off. Add a little bit down here. Beautiful. Look at that. Easy breezy beautiful. Lips. Alright, we got in air kit. These lips look kind of dark, so I'm not sure. Um, this is chestnut in the um, Oprah, Oprah in the Ofra lip liner. I'm not a huge fan of a dark lip, but it came together, so we're using it. Blend those edges in the Ofra liquid lipstick in Coven. If I think this is too dark, I'll just put some light uh, lip gloss over it. Ooh wee, ladies. Ooh -wee. We dark. All right, this was the Ofra lip gloss in Mocha. It's actually called a mystery gloss. And you just get what color you get. I thought that was weird. I'll squeeze the tube. Ooh, I went heavy. Ooh. This is not lightening this up. Basically just made it shiny. Ooh, what do y'all think about that? Cray cray. Dark lips. I'm probably gonna take this off and lighten it up. It's a little much for a daytime dedication. Let's take our setting spray. going to take this um, this really um, super bronzy color in here I'm going to dab that on the center of my eyelid and see what it looks like just because it's so pretty okay it's, it's a little oranger I like the cliff in here better, so I'm going to layer that back over top of it. It's just makeup. Okay, guys. A finished look we are shimmery we are shiny the setting spray is still kind of wet so just dab that in I'm gonna come in close for a good view these lips are dark I'm super shimmery I like for that to be really moisturized under there. Alright guys, that's it. Our video is all done. We are bronze. 
um have a great day i think this lip looks okay if we were going out maybe nighttime but i'm gonna go a little more nude with it i think but thanks guys seeing if you can see me seeing you all right guys that's it we are glowing we are wild and vampy with our lip but i think the bronzeness is super pretty i love it have a great day and i'll see you guys later